Coke Machine for real fishing, December 18th, 2021. So if you like the ice reports, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. So today is gonna be the Masuda ice rod giveaway. I've got a brand new Masuda Drifter Series light action rod here, 28 inches. It's all ready to go. Everyone who leaves a comment in the comment section of this YouTube video will be entered into a draw out of a hat that will be going down on a live stream on Wednesday morning. I'm not sure how much these things go for. I'm gonna say 50 or 60 bones. So leave your comment below. So we saw a pretty serious change in weather that came on this morning. Last night it was about negative two until about 6 a.m. where it dropped down to negative eight. Yesterday it was around zero, but there was a pretty good wind going on. So we still have the ice pack out here that's held tight. And then it's flat out on the open water there which bodes well for the formation of ice, especially at negative eight temperatures. And of course it's gonna be colder at night. Now I was looking out there and I wasn't too sure if there was ice forming yet, but I think there is, but it is a far way off, right? If I had a drone say I could fly it out there and see what's going on, but I don't. So I'm just going with what I can see with my peepers, all right? So I think it's looking well. The temperature forecast in the future is looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of snow coming. Hopefully that won't impede anything and we'll have some ice going by the time it's the opener. I'm sure there will be ice in different parts of the lake where it's a little more sheltered. Here, since I have this ice pack here, there's probably gonna be a decent amount of ice right in front here. I don't know if it's gonna be a decent quality of ice, but at the same time, ice will be building on it. Anyway, so you guys all know about how crazy the weather was on Thursday. I think it was crazy across the entire province. Carly Stack sent me some dramatic shots that were from the South Shore. She's in an area that faces south, so she had a lot of the waves and whatnot coming in her direction. And with all the wind, it was all pretty dramatic. So thanks a lot, Carly, for sending that video in. So there's lots of wind going on, waves all over the place, mist blasting through the air. There were some pretty dramatic shots of that storm that went through. So looking back at the conditions over the last multiple years, I'll be posting the videos up here and you can check the tag to watch the entire video. They're often fun to watch even though they're no longer applicable to present day ice conditions. So on December 18th, 2020, there was a sheet of glass, but there was total coverage on the lake. December 18th, 2019, it was negative 20, and the ice was measuring 6.75 inches. December 18th, 2018, it was windy. It was zero to one degree, 6.5 inches of ice. And at that point in time, I had 400 subscribers and I was pretty amped about it. Now we're up to 2200, I think. December 19th, 2017, it was negative 11 and there was inconsistent ice conditions. The day before I had measured seven inches in one place and it was 4.5 inches in another place. So I received an email from ZZZ Angler on the South Shore and he says, dearest Coke machine, not much to report from my area of the South Shore except all the ice has vanished. There is none visible towards North Bay or any other direction from my vantage point. The mild weather and winds completely destroyed what we had. Sad news. Regards, Mark Zed. Thanks a lot, Mark. Hopefully things start looking up. I know this is from yesterday, so maybe overnight things have changed. That's the reality. Things get busted up and then things reform. I had a few people who placed orders for hats right before I received the news that none of the hats were gonna be available for sale. And I was stressing out pretty hard about having to send people emails to tell them the bad news and have to sort of figure out how we we're gonna make things work. And when I sent out the emails, all the messages I received back were just overwhelmingly supportive of my channel and what I do. And I guess I was just sort of looking at the fact that I couldn't get these hats to these people and these people were just really happy to be chatting with me, I guess. And yeah, overwhelming words of support. And you know, it really, really hit right here. And I, I will try to make those hats happen, but I realize that the people buying the hats are the people that really appreciate what I'm, what I'm putting out there. And you guys made that very clear to me. <laughs> Even though my whole merch thing was sort of getting a wrench thrown into it, everybody was very understanding. And I seriously appreciate that.
So in place of the hats, I've put up a bunch of t-shirts that are now available for anybody who wants them. I'll probably be putting up more, but specifically I've got this pretty sweet I cook with ice shirt going on. And there's also gonna be I cook with ice hoodies as well with that same design. Thanks a lot everybody for watching. Leave your comments here so we can get you into the Masuda Rod giveaway. And I'll be drawn from the hat on Wednesday morning on a live stream. So stay tuned. You got a bit of time to drop a comment and Let's enjoy it, have some fun. We'll talk to you guys later.